I think uh, the rain last night uh, was, was obviously the covers were on for quite a bit. So for the first time in this match, the new ball just had a little bit in something in it, um, which is always the case with a new ball. But we didn't find in the first innings there was any sea movement. Um, and just for a short period of time this morning, the ball moved a bit. Um, so that's obviously the covers and, and the rain overnight. Um, yeah, and then the conditions are pretty much the same apart from uh, it's the ground's probably getting a little bit more drier um, than it was in the first innings and the pitch is a little bit more scuffed up. We saw something after PE. Uh, we couldn't get the ball to reverse. Um, and our plan coming here, obviously bowling second, uh, was definitely helped. Uh, just thinking that the, you know, the wicket was abrasive enough to uh, bowl cross seam. Um, I generally hit I don't always hit the same, so I can hit that rough side. So I get it up nice and rough uh, and shine the ball, uh, keep a good uh, shine on the ball. So once we saw that the ball wasn't swinging normally, um, we did that straight away. So um, we're not surprised that it went. The first innings, I think it was the, the pitch wasn't scuffed up enough. Um, I must be honest, I was really surprised to see the ball reverse from their side. I think it was 27 overs uh, when the ball started reversing, especially after rain and a wet outfield. And I was really surprised with that. So <laughs> let's leave it at that. Um, <laughs> and we hopefully now the pitch is nice and scuffed up. So hopefully we can get uh, the same happening for us because it's reverse swing bowling is probably the most, you know, it's the trickiest thing to bat against uh, when you come in. Because with conventional swing, the ball swings a little bit earlier. With reverse swing, it swings late. So it is a deadly weapon, and hopefully the ball will reverse for us tomorrow. I think the way that we, we bowled today, we just showed that we were able to stick with the plans that um, that we came in this test match in. Um, obviously, we were blown away by them in that last test, and um, we've just kept our confidence going. We, we weren't worried about that test. Uh, we just outplayed. Um, come into this test knowing that Obviously, the toss was a good one to win um, out on that wicket. Uh, so, yeah, look, we're, we're really, like I said, we're really keen tomorrow to to put some runs on the board early, uh, have a good run rate like we did in the first innings and uh, really push this game forward and um, really push hard to win. And I think once we saw the ball reversing, it, it was a different game out there. Uh, so we're, we're quite confident if we can put some runs up there? We're a little bit behind the eight ball at the moment. Uh, Australia's played some good cricket in this test match, um, so they deserve to be in front of us at the moment. Um, in saying that though, it's always tricky with third innings. You don't know what quite is a good title to set. Uh, if you bat for too long, you take time out of the game. And, and if you bat for a short period of time, you, you give or they give us, us a chance of chasing it down. We've been pretty good in fourth innings as of late, uh, whether you know we're getting close or we or bat our time. So it's a tricky one for them. Um, for us, it's important now where we are in this position to, to not lose the game. Um, you know, we're a very proud nation, and it's very important for us not to lose this series. So. Um, at the moment, a draw will look good, but you never know. Third innings is um, like what happened when they were here in 2011, I think, when we bowled them out 40, 46. I don't think the wicket is quite as juicy as that, but we have to bowl really well to give ourselves an opportunity to win the game.